In general, gypsum boards should not be exposed to water for extended periods of time. Examples of sources of water include, but are not limited to, exposure to rain, condensation, water leakage, standing water, and flood water. Some board exposed to such conditions may not need to be replaced, depending upon the source of the water, how long the gypsum board remains wet, the temperature, and the condition of the gypsum board. If there is ever doubt about whether to keep or replace gypsum board that has been exposed to water, replace it. Assessing the need for replacement of gypsum board. When gypsum board becomes wet, an assessment of the potential damage must be made after drying to determine whether the board must be replaced. Gypsum board may experience limited intermittent exposure to water from a variety of sources, such as improper storage, construction or design defects, high relative humidity, and water leaks. Gypsum board exposed to water should be replaced unless all of the following conditions are met. The source of the water is identified and eliminated. The water to which the gypsum board was exposed was uncontaminated. The gypsum board can be dried thoroughly before mold growth begins, typically 24 to 48 hours, depending on environmental conditions. The gypsum board is structurally sound and there is no evidence of rusting fasteners, paper delamination, or physical damage that would diminish the physical properties of the gypsum board or system. Caution. When replacing gypsum board in a fire resistance or sound rated system, care must be taken to ensure that all repairs are consistent with the specific fire resistance or sound rated design initially constructed. Gypsum board type, fasteners and their spacing, and staggering joints. Refer to GA-225 Repair of Fire-Rated Gypsum Panel Product Systems. Recommendations for Drying Conditions These are general recommendations. For more detailed information, contact a water damage restoration specialist when gypsum board becomes wet. Adequate ventilation, air circulation, and drying are essential to minimize the potential for mold or other fungal growth, and the source of water must be eliminated. Damaged gypsum board and other wet materials that are to be replaced must be removed from the building to facilitate drying of the structure. The interior of the building must be thoroughly dried immediately. The indoor humidity must be lowered by using fans and portable dehumidification equipment. If the outdoor air is drier than the inside and not less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, ventilate the building. Closets, cabinets, and doors between rooms shall be open to enhance circulation of air. Fans should be used to increase air movement. Central HVAC systems should not be used for this purpose if the air ducts were covered with water during the incident that created the wet conditions. For information on safe practices when working in water damaged structures, refer to publications of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, and those of state or local emergency response agencies. Note. Once the gypsum board has been thoroughly dried, it should receive a final inspection for defects before redecorating. For further information, please reference GA-231, Assessing Water Damage to Gypsum Board. This publication is available for free at gypsum.org.